What is going on guys, Jay here, and I am bringing you guys another top 10 video, and this time is going to be the top 10 Pokemon that I feel that should get pre-evolutions in Pokemon X and Y. Now keep in mind that this is my own personal opinion, you don't necessarily have to agree with my opinion, but as long as you respect my opinion, then I will respect yours. And feel free to leave your own top 10, or top 5, top 3, whatever, in the comments but let's go ahead and jump into this giving warning right now most of these are based on pokemon stats and some of them are just because you know this is really plain obvious but anyway let's go ahead and jump into this so cracking my number 10 is giraffe rig and i chose giraffe rig mainly because giraffe rig hasn't gotten any kind of love in um, Pokemon ever since second gen and I just feel that Giraffe Rig needs a little bit more love and plus I think it would be really cool if Giraffe Rig had a full evolution line um, I think that something like this on the screen would be suitable to be its pre-evolution um, because you know I mean Giraffe Rig is not a bad Pokemon so I feel that you should still have to work up to Giraffe Rig instead of just catching it like straight up in the wild even though I mean Catching it in the wild would be cool too, but I just feel like it will be better if you had to actually work up to become a giraffe rig and then, you know, get a stone and evolve it into something else. So I think that would be really, really cool. So my choice for the number 9 spot on my top 10 list is Torkoal. And I chose Torkoal because its defensive stat is really, really high and I think that no Pokemon should be able to just hatch out of an egg and just have a ridiculously high defensive stat it just makes no sense to me whatsoever I just feel that you really should be able to uh, work up to that defensive stat so having a pre-evolution like this on the screen right here would be really cool and I find this little pre-evolution kind of cute it's kind of it's kind of funny if, if you look at it like it's like a little little teapot or something I just I, I kind of I like the idea of this pre-evolution right here and I just like the idea of Torko having a pre-evolution because you just I just don't see how it could come out of an egg and have a really high defense stat. It just makes no sense to me whatsoever. So the Pokemon who made it number eight on my list is Skarmory. And Skarmory basically has the same reasoning as Torko. Skarmory is known for its really high physical defense stat. And not only that, but it has a decent HP stat to boot. So I just think that, you know, again, something hatching out of an egg should not be this good. I would think that it should be able to at least evolve from some type of little small bird Pokemon like this one you see on the screen. Um, I'm not really liking this concept specifically, but I do think that Skarmory having a pre-evolution in general would be good and you know maybe it's pre-evolution could be used in little cup tier and competitive battling and have an eviolite you know that would be really cool wouldn't it i think it'd be cool anyway and now we get to our number seven pick and my number seven pick is absol and i chose absol because really the same reasoning as most of the other uh, Pokemon on this list, or on the bottom half of this list anyway, is because Absol has a monstrous attack stat. It's really high for absolutely no reason at all. Not only that, but I just feel that Absol isn't this is it's used because it looks cool, but not because it's strong. And if it is used because it's strong, then you know you slap a choice scarf on it, boom, there you go. But I feel that you can like you need to be able to work up to that attack stat. So I think that a pre-evolution like this one here on the screen would suit it best. Um, you know, it'll be really cool if Absol uh, had a pre-evolution. Not only just a pre-evolution, but also just an evolution line in general. Because I feel that Absol, they wasted so much potential on Absol. And Absol has a lot of potential to have an evolution and a pre-evolution. And I just think that it'll be really cool um, for Absol to have both of those. And not only that, but it'll be really cool to have Absol work up to that monstrous attack stat that is, is known to have. So as we continue to wind down to the halfway point, my number six choice is Heracross. And I just really think Heracross needs a pre-evolution because Heracross, if you guys watch my Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock, then you guys know that a Heracross straight out the egg is pretty damn good. And if it has 
specific egg moves, then this thing is a complete monster. It has a really high attack stat, and I don't understand where it comes from. So I would love to, you know, actually know where it comes from. I will, I will actually like to just see it have a pre-evolution in general, like this little guy here on the screen. Um, probably not like this, maybe with like a bigger horn or something, but uh, more or less just like this on the screen. And I just think that Heracross having a monstrous attack stat, it just, it's just, I don't think it's just, it shouldn't just be straight out the egg like that. I just don't understand why it's just like that, you know? So that's my reasoning behind Heracross. So we have reached the halfway point, and the Pokemon that makes it number five on my list is Pinsir. And Pinsir and Heracross can really be interchangeable because I find them both to be relatively similar in terms of stats and moves and stuff like that. Pinsir also has a really high attack stat, just like Heracross, for really no reason at all. Honestly, I say if you can't even, if you do, if you don't know like Heracross and Pinsir stats, you can easily mix them up and confuse someone. But it wouldn't even make a big difference because they're both practically the same, in my opinion. But I feel that Pinsir should get a pre-evolution, just because um, you know it's, it has a monstrous attack stat, and I just feel like you should work up to it. But not only that. But also because this thing came out in Gen 1 and it has no evolution or pre-evolution. And if I have to choose between an evolution or a pre-evolution, I would probably choose a pre-evolution just because Pinsir doesn't necessarily need an evolution. If I want it, if it has an evolution, then I would want it to be based on speed and get a little bit faster because Pinsir isn't really that fast of a Pokemon. But um, I would love to see some type of little guy like this here on the screen as a pre-evolution for Pinsir, except not with that big horn, maybe like one or two little tiny horns, you know, instead of, um, you know, just that one big horn that it has on its head. Um, this is the only picture that I found that I actually in, uh, liked because um, every other, you know, pre-evolution of Pinsir I saw was just a, like a really tiny Pinsir and I was like, no, it needs to be something unique, I would assume, you know. So um, yeah, I just want Pinsir to have a pre-evolution in general, and um, yeah, that's my reasoning behind that. So as we continue to wind down, my number four pick, and the last pick that has to do anything with stats, is Lapras. And Lapras, everyone knows Laprases are known for being bulky, um, probably not as bulky as some other water type Pokemon we know, but Lapras is definitely bulky, and coming out bulky straight out the egg is insane it's ridiculous Lapras not only that but Lapras is also dual typed so it's dual typed and it's bulky straight out the egg not only that but Lapras are freaking huge I mean even a baby Lapras is ridiculously huge and that thing popping out of a little tiny egg <laughs> no that doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever so a pre-evolution like this here on the screen would be like kind of cool in a sense because you know it's only single type um, it's a lot smaller than Lapras and you know you can work up to that big ass defensive stat and it's dual typing um, you know like some other Pokemon do but I just feel that Lapras should not be able to just hatch out of an egg dual typed and bulky and it's, I just can't see it happening I just don't think it should be happening like that so winding down our top three choices do not have anything to do with stats at all and my number three is throw and sock and I hit my arm but let's ignore that anyway so throw and sock I treat them as the Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan of Gen 5 now obviously they aren't like Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan but in a sense they are because you know they're both paired together and they both you know they both are very very similar both are fighting type and they just look the same to me you know they they're just different colors and one is skinnier than the other whatever so anyway I feel that since you know Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan both got that pre-evolution of Tyrogue and that Tyrogue um, evolves based on attack or defense or which one is higher well I just feel that you know throw and sock should be able to get some sort of pre-evolution like this little guy here on the screen and that little guy should evolve based on you know if the attack stat is higher or if the defense stat is higher because I just treat these as Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan not only that but they're pretty powerful if you really think about it like they're pretty strong fighting type Pokemon like they're not like super duper good but well I mean okay I guess Sock well they are super duper good really they're good like I can use them like and I feel comfortable using them you know but I just feel that you know they're 
they're the they're the Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan of Gen 5, and they should just get a pre-evolution just like Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. So winding down on this top 10 list, my number two choice is Tauros and Miltank. And if you do not know anything about animals, let me tell you this. A bull is basically the male version of a cow, and then a cow is the female version of a bull. So they're they're the same ex they're the same species. And you know, being you know male, you know, bulls are only male, cows are only female, you know, 100% female male tank, 100% male Tauros. Well, if they're the same species, then why don't they mate? And if they do mate, then why isn't there like a pre-evolution that you can get 50-50 male or female and then you know have that little thing evolve into uh, male tank or Tauros based on gender like it just make that makes so much sense to me like the Game Freak has the potential right here and so I don't see why they don't take uh, take us up on that potential right there like it's just great potential right there for a new Pokemon you know, like, they don't even have to evolve Tauros or Miltank because they're both good, you know? But having a pre-evolution would be really good, and it'll make me, it'll just make me feel better if they had a pre-evolution. And so we finally make it to our number one choice, and my number one choice is probably everyone's number one choice. You could have probably guessed it a mile away. It's Kangaskhan. Like, look at the thing in its pouch. It has a baby right there. I don't know why Game Freak even I don't even know why Game Freak even made this thing if they weren't going to use that baby in the pouch. Like I know I, I don't get me wrong. I know about the whole Cubone Marowak theory. I know about I know about all that. But still, they could have done something with this little baby in the like other generations that came after Gen 1. Like that little guy in the fucking pouch is pissing me off because it's it, it looks nothing like Kangaskhan, and if it, I mean, it, it resembles it, but it doesn't look anything like it. It looks like a, a whole other, a whole another Pokemon. It just looks like another Pokemon altogether, and I just don't see why they haven't changed this thing to make it into, like, you know, a, a, a Pokemon, like a little mini Kangaskhan or something. You know, I don't know why they haven't made it into a Pokemon. I mean, I, I you can't even find, I can't even find, like, a pre-evolution picture because that, is the picture right there like the fucking baby like I just can't stand it like it it frustrates me so much that Kangasan just does not have a pre-evolution but there's a baby sitting in its pouch not only that but Kangaskhan are all female how do you get babies in your pouches if you're all female like that doesn't make any sense whatsoever like you need a male to mate and you can't say ditto because ditto transforms into you so I'll assume that ditto would transform into a Kangaskhan since Kangaskhans are all female ditto would technically be female how do you mate and make babies like that you you don't what the hell I'm it, it frustrates me so much so this is this is my number one choice guys that's my number one choice and there you have it guys, that is my top 10 list on which Pokemon I feel that should get pre-evolutions in Pokemon X and Y. And if you have your own pre-evolution list, leave it in the comments. And also, if you did not check out my evolution list, then um, there will be a video slash annotation playing on the screen for you right now. That will uh, you know link you to that video, because I did make one, um, just in case this is not only on my channel I'm gonna you know leave this here for others anyway so uh, yeah I'm glad that you uh, watched and if you enjoyed it please leave a like comment and you know subscribe if you're not subscribed to me and you want to subscribe and I will see you guys later peace